Hey tech aficionados, welcome to the Monday edition of Tech Stocks Daily. Buckle up, because today's episode is jam-packed. We're diving into Google's potential $23 billion Wiz acquisition, aiming to bolster its cybersecurity game. Then we'll navigate through the legal storm MongoDB is facing after revising its revenue guidance, twice. Next, we'll untangle Teradata's lawsuit drama that sent its stock on a roller coaster. And finally, we'll geek out over NVIDIA's jaw-dropping AI advancements and sizzling stock performance. Grab your headphones, let's decode these tech titans. Guess who's making big waves today? It's Google. All right, tech lovers, buckle up, because I'm here to fill you in on why everyone's favorite search giant is the talk of the tech town. First and foremost, Google is reportedly inching closer to its biggest acquisition ever. Alphabet, Google's parent company, is said to be in advanced discussions to buy the fast-growing cybersecurity startup, Wiz, for a staggering $23 billion. Yes, you heard that right, $23 billion. This is the kind of money that makes even Google's wallet feel a bit lighter. So why is Google ready to drop this much cash? Well, it's all about shoring up its cybersecurity strategies and enhancing its cloud computing game. Wiz specializes in cybersecurity software for cloud computing, and everyone knows how crucial cloud security is becoming. What makes Wiz particularly attractive? The startup was valued at $12 billion just earlier this year after raising $1 billion from venture capital investors. Talk about a meteoric rise. If this deal goes through, it would more than double the size of Google's previous largest acquisition, Motorola, for $12.5 billion about a decade ago. And let's be real. That deal didn't exactly go as planned, with Google offloading Motorola for a massive loss just two years later. So while this purchase could be revolutionary, there's also a bit of nail-biting involved. Buying Wiz isn't just about splashing cash for Google, it's about sending a strong message to competitors like Microsoft and Amazon. Google's cloud business has lagged behind these giants for years. However, with cyber threats becoming increasingly sophisticated, this acquisition could position Google Cloud as a much more secure and reliable option for businesses. With notable clients such as BMW, Slack, Salesforce, and collaborations with major cloud providers like Amazon and Microsoft already under their belt, Wiz is no stranger to heavyweight partnerships. Google teaming up with Wiz is like the Avengers assembling, only this time, they're saving the digital world from cyber threats. But it's not all smooth sailing. The tech sector, particularly in the US, is under intense antitrust scrutiny. This deal is sure to raise some eyebrows in Washington, DC. However, if former President Trump ends up returning to the White House, some analysts, like Dan Ives from Wedbush, believe the Federal Trade Commission might go a bit easier on big tech. Just imagine, a scenario where an accelerated merger and acquisition environment becomes the norm. While these regulatory hurdles loom large, the sheer potential and impact of this deal make it a risk Google seems ready to take. And who can blame them? With nearly 40% of Fortune 100 companies trusting Wiz, this acquisition could furnish Google Cloud with the cybersecurity prowess it needs to attract more high-profile clients and ultimately reduce its reliance on the traditional search advertising business. So, whether this acquisition goes through or not, one thing's for certain. Google's ambition to become a cybersecurity powerhouse is crystal clear. Keep those notifications on, this is one saga you won't want to miss out on. Hold on to your keyboards, tech aficionados, because MongoDB has been making some serious waves on the NASDAQ stage. Buckle up as we unpack why this database juggernaut has found itself embroiled in a flurry of controversies, lawsuits, and curious market maneuvers. First up, MongoDB is staring down the barrel of multiple securities class action lawsuits. Investors are up in arms following two revisions of the company's fiscal year 2025 revenue guidance. Initially, MongoDB had been pretty bullish, geared up with a restructured sales incentive model and reduced upfront customer commitments. Management even sang sweet lullabies about taming seasonal trends and macroeconomic monsters. But on March 7, 2024, the tune changed dramatically. MongoDB disclosed a downward revision due to the new sales compensation strategy, which jettisoned upfront commitments and revenue from multi-year licensing agreements. Not surprisingly, this shocking revelation torpedoed the stock price. If that wasn't a big enough bombshell, on May 30, 2024, MongoDB once again revised its estimates downward. The blame was slapped squarely on macroeconomic headwinds and the continued fallout from their Salesforce overhaul. Another stock plummet ensued. This one-two punch from March and May led to a combined shareholder value erosion totaling a jaw-dropping $7.5 billion. Enter the class action lawsuits. Disgruntled investors allege MongoDB executives were painting too rosy a picture while hiding worse economic tidings under their beds. So now it's the courtroom drama featuring MongoDB versus investors. Law firms like Hagens Berman, Bernstein Liebhard, the Gross Law Firm, and Pomerantz are rallying the troops for these legal showdowns, pushing to hold MongoDB accountable for what they claim are misleading communications. But wait, there's more. Just to sprinkle a bit of Wall Street intrigue on top of our tech soup, MongoDB's options trading is sizzling. Deep-pocketed investors are showing a conspicuous interest in MDB, leading Benzinga's option scanner to light up like a Christmas tree. Of the notable trades, a mix of puts and calls reveal a market leaning slightly bullish, with 44% on the bearish side. These activities are centering within the price band of $210 to $300. In short, 
Some big moves are happening behind the scenes, hinting at future maneuvers worth keeping an eye on. In summary, MongoDB featured in the news spotlight today due to a cascade of legal troubles stemming from revenue guidance revisions and scrutiny over their new sales strategies, paired with lively options trading among savvy investors. As they tackle class action lawsuits and attempt to stabilize their financial projections, it's worth watching how MongoDB navigates the road ahead. Popcorn at the ready. Trade confidently, folks, but maybe keep one eye on that MongoDB news ticker. Hey, tech enthusiasts, buckle up, because today we are diving into some major drama in the world of enterprise analytics and multi-cloud platforms. That's right, we're talking about Teradata and why this data giant has grabbed headlines across various NASDAQ tech news outlets. Spoiler alert, it's all about lawsuits, baby. So here's the scoop. Teradata Corporation, best known for its connected multi-cloud data platform technology, is under fire. Several law firms have slapped the company with securities class action lawsuits. If you're wondering why so many attorneys are suddenly interested in Teradata, keep listening. First up, these lawsuits center on allegations that Teradata misled investors about its business prospects. The company had an expanded business model that was supposed to be super flashy and attractive, involving multiple customer business units and a load more decision makers. But guess what? This glittering strategy had a downside. Transactions took way longer to finalize than expected. By failing to disclose this crucial information, Teradata allegedly overstated its ability to close deals and hit its 2023 growth targets. And oh boy, when the truth hit the fan, Teradata's stock took a nosedive that would make even roller coasters jealous. Their share price took a 21.66% plunge, falling $10.57 to close at $38.22 on February 13th, 2024. Now let's talk class action. The deadline for filing as the lead plaintiff is August 13th, 2024. If you're scratching your head thinking, what's a lead plaintiff? Don't sweat it. A lead plaintiff acts on behalf of other shareholders in directing the litigation. Think of them as the captain of the lawsuit team. But hey, if you just bought some Teradata shares and want compensation without the leadership role, you can still be part of the lawsuit recovery process. Laziness rewarded, am I right? Several heavyweight law firms are involved in this legal rumble, like Robbins LLP, Bernstein Liebhard LLP, The Gross Law Firm, and Kessler Topaz Meltzer & Check LLP. Each firm is actively fishing for shareholders to join the class action, and they're each promising zero fees unless there's a win. Talk about team spirit. Each of these firms underscores Teradata's materially misleading statements regarding its 2023 outlook. In plain English, the company hyped its ability to close deals and pipe-dreamed about its growth potential, only to later admit it to investors they were essentially whistling past the graveyard. Oh, and did I mention the dramatic eight-figure deal that was supposed to anchor their Q4 2023 results but got delayed? That deal alone caused their stock price to drop by 6.24%. Just hearing about this has me shaking my head. For a company that's supposed to be on top of data, they sure scrambled their own numbers. In summary, Teradata is caught in a web of legal scrutiny, and shareholders have until mid-August to jump into the fray. Whether you choose to step up as lead plaintiff or blissfully stay in the background, this tech tale is shaping up to be a must-watch courtroom thriller. Stay tuned, everyone, because the ramifications of this could ripple through the tech industry. And there you have it, folks, the lowdown on why Teradata is making waves today. Keep your stock secure and your lawyers on speed dial. All right, tech enthusiasts, let's dive into today's hot topic, NVIDIA. It's almost impossible to ignore the buzz surrounding NVIDIA. This silicon heavyweight is flipping the AI script and shaking up the tech industry like an Etch-A-Sketch in a space shuttle launch. So why was NVIDIA making headlines today? First up, NVIDIA is edging closer to its fiscal second quarter earnings announcement, and Wall Street is buzzing with anticipation. The excitement hinges on the company's new Blackwell GPUs and NVL72 AI server system, which boasts a whopping 72 GPUs. Analysts like KeyBank's John Vinn and TD Cowan's Matthew Ramsey are practically handing out buy ratings like their coupons at a supermarket. They expect NVIDIA's earnings and forecasts to benefit massively from the ever-growing demand for generative AI. But wait, there's more. NVIDIA isn't just about making kick-ass chips, it's also built a veritable startup empire. Through its corporate ventures team, NVentures, NVIDIA has invested in everything from generative AI darlings Runway and data giants Databricks to up-and-coming AI model developer Cohere. Heck, NVIDIA has so many investments you'd think it's becoming the Oprah of tech startups. You get funding. You get funding. Everyone gets funding. Even NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang is directly immersed, personally signing off on each investment, an uncharacteristic move for a public company CEO of his stature. He's hands-on, making chess moves on the startup board to ensure NVIDIA stays two steps ahead of its competitors like AMD and Google in the hyper-competitive AI chip game. And let's not overlook NVIDIA's jaw-dropping stock performance. In the first half of 2024 alone, the stock shot up nearly 150%, turning portfolios greener than the Hulk's stockings. Much of this booming growth is down to NVIDIA's unparalleled prowess in the data center market, which has become the heart and soul of AI development. Then the company cranked it up to 11 during its March GTC developer conference by unveiling Blackwell, 
a chipset to outperform its forerunner, Hopper, by as much as 30 times depending on the use case. The sheer mathematical horsepower made everyone's eyes pop like animated characters in disbelief. That excitement even led to a 10-for-1 stock split in June, briefly catapulting NVIDIA to the top of the world's tech heap, albeit momentarily surpassing tech giants like Microsoft on the market cap podium. With all this action, NVIDIA has firmly entrenched itself as a tech powerhouse, but while they're playing a strong game now, the competition is fierce, and the tech landscape can shift faster than a cat meme going viral. So here's where you, dear viewers, come in. What are your thoughts on NVIDIA's meteoric rise? Do you think their strategy of heavy investment in AI and startups is sustainable? Could they fend off budding competition from the likes of AMD and Google? Hit up the comments below and share your insights. Your views could spark the next big debate, or at the very least, help us all make sense of this tech whirlwind. Let's get chatting, drop those comments. All right, folks, let's dive into the world of NVIDIA and see if we should hit that buy, sell, or hold button. NVIDIA has been on a red hot streak and today's news isn't just sparking excitement, it's a full-on fireworks display. With their upcoming Blackwell GPUs, NVL72 AI server system, and insane demand for generative AI, NVIDIA is setting up a buffet of growth opportunities. KeyBank's John Vinn and TD Cowan's Matthew Ramsey are practically throwing by ratings around like it's happy hour at the stock bar. Not to mention NVIDIA is securing its future by investing in a range of startups via its N Ventures arm. We're talking about supporting generative AI frontrunners like Runway and data titans like Databricks. Even the top dog, Jensen Huang, is personally involved in sealing these deals, which shows how much skin they've got in this game. The kicker? NVIDIA stock already skyrocketed nearly 150% in the first half of 2024 thanks to dominating the data center market and revealing game-changing chips like Blackwell. Throw in a 10-for-1 stock split, and it's clear NVIDIA's been making some legendary moves. In light of this, I'm leaning strongly towards a hold strategy right now. Here's why. 1. Strong fundamentals. NVIDIA is on a solid track with phenomenal products and strategic investments in AI. 2. Future potential. With its new chips and AI ventures, future growth prospects look incredibly promising. However, the stock has already seen massive gains. Jumping into a heavily hyped stock at peak prices can be risky. While I believe NVIDIA is a strong stock to hold, it's essential not to get caught up in the hype and make a rush decision. If you already own it, holding for long-term gains makes sense. If you don't, you might want to wait for a better entry point or do more thorough research. Remember folks, always do your own research and consult with financial advisors tailored to your individual needs. The stock market roller coaster has its dips and peaks, and it's all about playing the strategy that suits you best. Now, what does everyone think? Drop your thoughts or strategies in the comments. Let's hear it. So there you have it, folks. Today's tech news was sizzling with Google's potential $23 billion cybersecurity splash, MongoDB's legal maelstrom amidst revised revenue forecasts, Teradata's investor lawsuit drama, and NVIDIA's race to dominate the AI landscape. From dizzying acquisitions to courtroom thrillers and groundbreaking chip advancements, it's a tech roller coaster you'd hate to miss. If you enjoyed today's update, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with your fellow tech enthusiasts. And hey, make sure you tune back in tomorrow for another round of the hottest tech news.